Hi, I'm Derek Rodway. Today we're going to have a look at the Angler Pro Sniper 424 Pro. Now this is the smallest of the models available from Angler Pro in the Sniper range, but by no means does it mean it got any less power and punch than what the bigger models have. So let's take a look through the boat, look at the standard features, some of the optional features that are available, and find out what makes this boat such a fantastic fishing boat. The 424 Pro comes standard with the 3mm bottom sheet, 3mm side sheet, and obviously has the X-Core construction, which is that aggressive ribbing structure where the floor ribs marry the side ribs, providing that really strong skeleton frame to support the hull. The boat comes in at just over 2 metres at 2.08 in the beam and it's a 4.25 overall length. So on a trailer you're going to be looking around about 5.25 to store which is going to fit in just about any garage uh, for lengthwise. Towing weight comes in at around about 680 to 700 kilos so once again just about any small car is going to tow it quite easily. So starting from the front of the boat, the bowsprit and roller, that's a standard feature. The bow mount plate for the electric motor is an option. It's something that pretty much every single sniper goes out with, but it is an optional feature. Anchor well standard, and it's a proper anchor well. It's not just some plastic thing that's just rooted in place like some of the brands do. It's actually recessed and reinforced with aluminium in the bottom into the boat. You cross bollard straight down into your, your front casting deck, which has that neat little seat socket there to allow you to put the seat up if you want to have a lazy day flicking plastics. Plenty of storage under the front hatch. You've got a big keeper tank here, which can also be plumbed up to become a plumbed keeper tank. Into the main cockpit area, you've got plenty of depth in the freeboard for a boat this size. and allows you to feel very comfortable if you're going to be in some rougher water. You don't feel like you're going to fall out of it. Coming to the back of the boat, you've also got a nice big rear casting deck, and the rear casting deck come, features the plumb live bait tank, that's a standard feature. The central battery point, which is a battery storage area, which is a great feature, keeping the boat nice and stable, even if you're going to be fishing on your own, if you put the battery over the same side as the driver, it creates more imbalance in the boat, so by centrally mounting it helps give good balance in the boat for performance uh, driving. And over on this side, you've got your big area there to be able to put your 25 litre tote tank as well. With regards to the back of the boat, you've got the splash well, which is standard. Now, you can actually get what's called an island motor well, which comes out from the gunnel height around the back of the motor. Now, that's there for people that are a little bit concerned with water coming in. I'm yet to find anyone who's actually got more water in than the standard splash well can handle, but some people like that extra protection. One good feature about the island motor well, though, is it allows you to be able to weld on our standard, sorry, our deluxe. Angler Pro bait board. It's a nice big bait board. It's got rod holders off it and that's a great feature if you're going to be doing some bait fishing out of this boat as well. The driving position for the Sniper 424 Pro is very, very comfortable. You've got this great console. It's a very clean design, but there's heaps of room. So it's standard with the windscreen with the grab rail. There's enough room up here to be able to run two sounders if you'd like, or certainly one big sounder like a 12 inch. It comes standard with the Hook 4X, so just speak to your local dealer when you're buying the boat and uh, he'll talk to you about pricing for upgrading to the bigger model sounders. Driving position for the steering wheel is fantastic. There's a little switch panel there with your 12 volt socket, that's standard. There's enough room here for a gauge display if you want to do that, although a lot of people now are moving to having all their engine data coming up on their sounder instead. If you're look, looking for a bit more room behind the steering wheel, the boats come standard with the seat slide, which can give you a whole lot more room to move if you like to have a big gap between your wheel and your control box area. The 424 comes standard with a 40 horsepower, but also has the option to be able to run up to a 50 as well. With the Sabre hull having the, the, the running strakes pressed in a certain way, it creates a lot of lift in the hull, and it's got those two big reverse chines. You don't need a lot of horsepower to get it up and get it going on the water, and also allows the boat to be nice and stable if you are going to run the maximum horsepower. When you've got lots of trim, there's not much hull left in the water, the way those running strakes are pressed in and the stabilisation of those uh, reverse chines allows the boat to be a very, very comfortable boat at high speed. So if you're in the market for a really top fishing boat that's going to allow you to handle some rough stuff in the water, but it'll still be nice and easy to be able to store at home in a compact area, the 424 Sniper has got to be something on your shopping list. It's a fantastic boat, there's a lot of standard features in the boat, and it certainly does punch well above its weight for its, its size. Come down to your local dealer, have a good look at the, the 424 Sniper and the other models in the lineup, and I'm sure they'll be able to work out a great package for you.